The next stage is to create the backdrops for your game. Uh, I've decided to make my game themed around space and um, therefore I've created a theme looking at space for the planet uh, just to give it an idea. Your game I've already shown you how to open up from your desktop if you've saved that and therefore you'll be able to open up your game and build the different backdrops to the game. So here we are. I'm going to click the button on the right hand side for backdrops just here and from there I can right click on my game on the left and just duplicate this and I can rename this. I'm going to rename this welcome. So I've now got a welcome screen. I'm just going to drag that to the top because I want that to be first. I can also right click on my game, duplicate that and this one I'm just going to call game over. So now I've got three stages to my game. I've got the welcome, the game and the game over. If I go to my welcome I can put some text in and I'm just going to click in here and write welcome to Space Chase. So I'm happy with that. I'll just position that where I want it to. Then I've got my game and again I'm going to put some text in here. I'm just going to put level 1 and move that to where I want that to be. You can make some more levels to your game if you wish. And for the game over I'm just going to put some text in and write game over. So again that information is as I want it to be. So now I've got my three different levels. What I now need to do is put some code into here so the game knows which which uh, backdrop to play at the right time. So I'm going to click on code and I'm going to go to event. When the green flag is clicked, so at the start of the game, I'm going to go to looks. I'm working on the backdrop, remember? I'm going to go to looks. I'm going to go switch backdrop to, and from the drop down box, I can choose welcome. Now I'm going to go to control and I'm going to use my, my wait control. So wait, and I'm just going to wait five seconds. After that, I want the look to change, the backdrop to change. I'll drag this in to my game. And then again, this is where you can decide how long you want to play each level. I'm going to wait for 25 seconds here and then change the look to switch backdrop to game over. So now when I press play, which is the green arrow, what I should see is my welcome. I'm just going to go to full screen so we can see what's going on. So I've got welcome to space chase and after five seconds it goes to my level one. At this stage I can test that my rocket that we made in the last stage still works as expected. Up, down, left and right controls and that's all working as I want. So what we're hoping for is that after 25 seconds the game automatically stops and goes to the game over screen. Um, and there we are. So everything at the moment is working as expected. Next stage is for you to give it a go and get the different backdrops to your game.